All right, guys, today should be a fun one. Like I said, um, we're going to get the oil gallery gaskets and the water pump changed out on the old uh, engine that was in my white 350Z. Um, like I said, the oil pressure wasn't bad, but you could definitely tell it had an issue. So I went ahead and picked up all new gaskets and a fresh water pump and everything. But of course, we put a different engine in the white 350Z that already had that stuff done to it, had cams and intake and everything. So when I found this shell, figured why not i'm a little bit high on the prices or my engine prices when i'm selling engines because if i verify it's good and i know it's good and like in this case where it come with like 300 dollars with the parts um nobody wanted to buy it so I might as well use it but i've already got but i've already got the the front of the engine you know disassembled whatever um got most of the little 10 millimeter bolts out of the way i'm not sure if you have to take these off or not but I'd like to leave them because they're not leaking, but the ones on my white uh, 350Z are leaking. So if I could use the fresh gaskets on the one that's leaking and not crack these, then <laughs> that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do. I don't think you have to remove them, but I'll let you know in a little bit. But I do believe I have everything everything loose. So I'm just going to like try to work this and get this, you know, free. And I'll show you guys uh, the inside and everything and we'll get those done. Get the engine reassembled, transmission on the engine, wiring harness on the engine, put the engine in. I don't know if I'll make it that far this video, but we'll definitely get this done and get the engine dressed today because it's still pretty early in the morning. I think it's like, like 9 o'clock or something like that. But we'll definitely got enough time to get the oil gallery gasket knocked out, assemble the engine, and put it in the car. And in the next couple videos, maybe, like I said, this thing will be running. So um, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it get this thing uh open and uh see what we got in here all right guys we got the front cover off i'm going to try to like leave this thing in time so i just kind of put the timing marks um up and kind of remarked where all the timing marks are lining up on the gear and the crank so what i'm doing is like figure if i do it this way i can slack the tensioner up i can get to um get to these which I might take this gear off completely right here. We'll see. I'll let you know how that works out. But I'm going to try to sneak it past that without having to really... I don't know if I'm going to be able to, though. That's pretty... That's pretty crappy of Nissan to do that. <laughs> but anyway, so I might have to put this thing back in time anyway. Or put it, you know, reset everything and put it back in time. But I'm going to try to cheat it. Of course, I don't even want to tell you the, the other dumb thing I did. But we'll get that fixed in a second. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get the the gallery gasket get this plate out and disassemble a little bit more and i'll get you guys uh, called up once i uh figure out for sure if i'm gonna have to um i really don't want to pull that gear off so but anyway we'll see in a second i'm gonna try to sneak it sneak it around but you can see where the gasket is uh blown out right here so it's not too bad it's just like what one two three well, I mean I guess it is kind of bad three places <laughs> all right as I'm sure someone already knows or noticed that didn't work but this is where we're at went ahead and just took the chain out of the way um, I loosened or took the, the bolt out of this cam gear just so I could kind of work my screwdriver in there and get that one Phillips head out and I'll probably just leave these guys alone put everything back in time like i haven't looked at any instructions or anything i just dove into this, <laughs> this thing probably not the best idea but that's always just the way i've done it so learn the hard way which i do a lot but anyway this thing right here is a lifesaver impact uh screwdriver if you don't have one you should definitely get one even though these wasn't they weren't that bad so like i said i managed to get that one and i wasn't even fully seated in it and just kind of put the screwdriver tapped it a little bit and it just it spun out so they're not really that bad but I sprung for the little Allen, uh, the Allen ones. So I'll probably use like a, um, I don't know, lost of what they call them right now. Um, a ball in Allen key, I'm assuming. <laughs> just so I can kind of like get it from the angle, you know, an angle or whatever and just tighten it down. So I'm trying to make less work for myself, but you can see the gaskets were pretty, they were actually worse than what it looked. So, um, oh well yeah i'm gonna get this knocked out and uh shouldn't be too bad like i said just uh button everything up and close everything so 
I'm gonna get to it and I'm definitely gonna have to look up the timing sequence for this thing because I know some of these dual overhead cam engines can be really funky with um, getting these guys set back in place. I'm fairly confident that you could, because I haven't turned anything really. Like of course these clocked a little bit when I released the tension, the, uh, the tensioner. So I could probably clock them back and line the marks on the chain and it'd probably be okay. But I'm a little too paranoid for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get everything back to the factory time and marks, put the chain back, you know, put it back together the way that Nissan tells you to do it. So I will be looking that up because if you get that timing wrong, uh, you're gonna have a very bad day during startup. But all right guys, I got everything cleaned up and pretty sure we're correct as far as being in time. Mark right here, mark right there, mark right there, lining up right here. Um, and on the cam side, right there, there's two guys. On the inside, you can't see it. But I think this is pretty good. I've already spun the engine a full rotation and just spun it back. I just make sure it wasn't hitting anything, which I'll double check that again. Cause I'm not 100% sure about this, but I'm pretty confident in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the front cover and everything on, put the accessories on, and I'm gonna reseal the oil pan probably sometime tomorrow, and it'll be ready to <laughs> be put back in there. I went ahead and took those other heat shields off, um, or the bottom part of the heat shield off. Got the solid mounts on there. So it's coming together. This took a little bit longer than I thought just because I was going back and like, verifying my timing and stuff off of videos and everything but i hate that i didn't take my time and do this correctly the first time but you know it is what it is i should have just been a little bit more patient instead of just diving in here and taking stuff apart so um yeah it is what it is but i'm gonna go ahead and get the cover on and get this thing dressed up and that might be it for this video but uh, i'll let you guys know for sure in just a second I wanted to show you but i did manage to get this bolt uh right here in and out without taking this cam gear off so um, that's a win in my book <laughs> all right guys it's gonna be the end of the video as you can tell the car is put back together um that's not, i'm really bad about like not making recording that's i kind of get in the zone and just start working on the car and like next thing i know you guys have missed like everything <laughs> but i do have clips of like getting the engine in the car and getting it fired up and everything Still a few things to do. I gotta, I'm waiting on some intakes to come in and test pipes and stuff like that so it can be fully put back together. But another video. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys sticking around for the two cars and watching them come together. But um, now we can go do the fun stuff and actually get out there and enjoy the cars. But I got a couple of videos of like putting the car together and stuff. You'll see that, um, like I said, the next couple of videos. But for now, that's it. But I do believe the timing was done correctly. It cranks up, it revs good, so, you know, I'm never truly going to know until I get to drive it and stuff like that, but I think it's good. All right, guys, that's it for this one, we'll see you on the next one.